Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And if you remember from our last video, we were giving a circle similar to this, and we used this equation for r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared plus w squared plus z squared. And I'm going to show you the proof for that formula here. We have a circle, and don't mind my circle, not the best circle here, and it has two chords. All right, they're perpendicular to each other, and we separate them by lengths of x, y, z, and w, okay? Well, we don't know really what the radius is here, so let's call it r. So we have the center of the circle, let's call it right here, 0.0, okay? And our radius r, really, well, we know what radius, can connect here from the edge of this cord, right there. So with that information here, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make a perpendicular line to the cord, and what we know right there is that when we have a perpendicular line to the cord from the center, it bisects this cord. And I'm going to call this length A. And we have a little right angle right here. I'm going to do the same thing here, perpendicular here to the cord ZW. And let's go call that length, I call it B. And again, it's a right angle here. Okay? Now, if it bisects cord X, y right there, what's the length right here on that triangle? Well, that length there is just going to be the x plus y, because it's halfway, over 2. And that makes, well, this overall length right here, all right, um, the w, we can, I'll put a little spot here, do, 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 down here, you can see that length to here. That length, same idea, similar fashion, is going to be that w plus z over 2. And again, second half up there is the same thing. Well, what do we know about the length of our radius? How can we write this in terms of x plus y uh, over 2 and a? Well, our Pythagorean theorem tells us here that while our r value, our hypotenuse here, r squared is equal to the x plus y over 2 squared plus a squared. And the same idea if we connected this down here, right? Same idea. That radius squared is equal to the, well, w plus z over 2 squared plus our b value squared. Now notice, though, that this triangle can be written twice, right? We have this triangle again that comes over here, connects to this spot, and this one connects to this part of the chord. And so four of them, four of our radius is squared, would be equal to two of these and two of these added up. So let's go do that. We have a x plus y over 2 squared, and there's two of them, plus 2a squared. Same idea here. We have two of these, w plus z over 2 squared, plus 2b squared. A lot of information going on right there. All right, so we're forming a way to try to break this up to get this nice neat formula here. Now, with that, we have to go look now into this little rectangle here. And I want to find this length right here. What is that length? Let's call that length C. Well, that length C is equal to the length of X across the whole chord, well, this part of the chord that's separated, minus the x plus y over 2. And I'm going to do the same thing here, same idea, with I want to find the length here. Let's call that length d. d is the same idea. Length d is equal to length w minus that w plus z over 2. Simplifying that out, c equals an x minus y over 2. And a d value is equal to a w minus z over 2. Well, what do we know about c and d? Well, c is equal to b, right? B on the cross for the rectangle, and a is equal to d. Well, we can plug then their values in. Instead of a, we can have a d, and d is w minus z over 2, if I... <laughs> Give myself some space there for it. So we rewrite this for r squared equals 2x plus y over 2 all squared 
plus 2 times A, which is D, which is A, W, minus a Z over 2, all squared, plus 2, W plus Z over 2, all squared, plus 2 times my B value squared, B is equal to C, which is the X minus Y over 2 squared. All right. All this work, now it's time to simplify where we can. So again, 4 r squared. I'm kind of just leave that over there here. And on the right, let's go simplify this out. x plus y squared, all right, comes out to be an x squared plus 2xy plus a y squared over, well, squaring the 2 here becomes a 4, but we have 2 up in the numerator, so we still have a 2 in the denominator. Plus, I'm going to bring this term over here, put our x and y's next to each other. So notice I've already done with this term. I'm going to kind of cross that out. I'm working with this one here. Okay, let's go simplify that one up. Same idea, x minus y all squares comes out to be an x squared minus a 2xy plus a y squared over 2 squared becomes a 4, but we have the 2 up here, so we just have a 2 in the denominator. Plus, got rid of that one. Next one in keeping uniform form, let's do with this one here. W plus Z all squared is that W squared plus 2WZ plus AZ squared. All over, 2 squared is 4, cancels out with this 2, and 2 again in the denominator. And the last one here is this. Again, same form similar to this. We have W minus Z all squared is a W squared minus 2WZ plus a z squared Oh, excuse me, over, 2 squared is 4, 2 cancels out, 2 in the denominator. All right, let's keep on going. Let's combine our like terms here, all right? So we have 4r squared is equal to, all right? So we have x squared. Well, look, we have the same denominator all the way across the board. That's good. I'm still going to separate the x's and x, y's and the w, z's here. x squared plus x squared is a 2x squared. 2xy minus a 2xy cancel out, and then y squared plus y squared is a 2y squared over just a 2. Same thing here, w squared w squared is a 2w squared. 2wz cancels out with the minus 2wz here, don't need that. z squared plus z squared is a 2z squared over 2 being the denominator. Hopefully now you're seeing this, that 4r squared is equal to the 2's cancel out here, x squared plus y squared, 2's cancel out here again, w squared plus a z squared. And there we have our wonderful proof right there. What we wanted to find, 4r squared equals an x squared plus y squared plus w squared plus a z squared. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video and leave a comment down in the section below. That lets YouTube know that this video is actually good. Also, if you're watching this on Facebook or Instagram, please check out our YouTube channel because that's the only channel we have monetized that we can really keep making these fun videos for you. So, as always, thanks for watching.